hair is very different today. But today we are doing some yummy nummies. And I am very scared about this actually because I've seen so many videos of people like half vomiting slash spitting out the yummy nummies. So these are new because I live in Australia and Australia is left behind. So um, I got two boxes for my birthday. If you guys saw my birthday video, I'm not sure it's a, if it's actually up yet. Wait, anyway, let's just get into it. Boom. Let's just open this thing up. Okay, okay, so here is everything that is in the package. So I am like actually going to die doing this. Like this is so amazing. <laughs> okay, so here is the instructions. So we're going to start. So step one, remove the tray packets and utensils from packaging. Use scissors to cut the kitchen magic tray along the indented lines. So let's do that. Okay, guys. So it says move the tray, packets, and utensils. So I think just I'll take out everything. So so we've got little piping bags and there's little like mixing spoons and there's tiny little um where's the there's tiny little um yummy nummies um little what are they called like patty pans I think. Um, now let's open this up with the mixes. This stuff is so artificial, like, it's not, it's not even funny. Alright, we've got like sprinkles in here, there's frosting, and there is chocolate butter. Okay, so, now we just cut along the lines, I believe. So, step two, open the chocolate batter 004 packet in tray one. Mix 10 scoops of chocolate batter powder and 4 scoops of water. I have now changed to using the voiceover because I was in the kitchen and all my family was out there so I didn't want to make noise for them. So basically I'm putting the powder in and the water in. But I accidentally put too much of one um, ingredient and I forgot what it was. So I had to fix that later. Fill the trays with the little pans stuff. Alright, so let's do that. We got some spare ones. Well, these are cute, so... That is completely fine. And we have to fill these half with batter. So here I'm basically just mixing all the batter together. This is kind of gross and it's really sticky as well. So here I'm just putting the batter into the muffin pan thingo. Um, this was really annoying because it was sticky and gross. Then I just put them in the microwave and put them in for the right amount of time. I decided it was necessary to put them in for another 5 seconds because they looked uncooked and I didn't want to eat uncooked cu cupcakes. I then just started making the batter. I know that um, this is basically just icing sugar if you've done this mix before. And I just put in water and started mixing it and then I just put it into the piping bag. In the next clip I just basically piped the icing sugar mixture onto the cupcakes. In the next clip, which is right here, I'm putting these sprinkles on the cupcakes. These are just so cute. Okay guys, so here they are. Um, I'm really scared about this. Alright, so I've kind of done a close-up on my face, but this is what they look like. I'm not going to use a spoon, I'm just going to use my hands. So I'm going to just try the icing first. The icing is just like um icing sugar. So the icing is fine. I'm going to try the actual batter. I cooked this for a bit longer because I didn't want to be eating like uncooked food. It's actually not that bad. bad comments about this but it's actually not that bad this one anyway I cooked this one for like 23 seconds the batter and it's actually really good it tastes like a real cupcake I was scared but this is good so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up I like these I think they're really good 
Anyway, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!